Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Detail Matters. In this episode, I'll be unboxing our December 2021 glove box while giving you some suggestions on how to use all of the products included. So let's get started. Okay, you might notice, again, I'm in a different location this month. This is our newest facility in Chicago for my detail company. We are at the Alpha Garage Chicago, and they are nice enough to loan us one of their cars in inventory, this Jeep Rubicon, that has a 392 in it. Crazy, Jeep with a 392. I'll do a little bit of startup on that later. So, let's get into the box. First, this month, from Extra Tough, we have their degreaser. I refer to this as the Captain America product because it can do so much when properly diluted. Don't get worried, I know the dilution thing can get kind of crazy, so they included an insert card for you with some different dilution ratios. Also, some QR codes that you can put your phone right up to and see our buddy Fab Automotive um, review on this or our friend Miranda detailing video on this and of course extra tough, so very easy. Scan it with your phone. If you don't want to scan it with your phone, dilution ratios are right on there. Typically what I use this for is for clean tires and wheel wells, and I will dilute it 10 to one. But don't forget, you know, you can use a dilution chart, but you can use this safely on interior for stains. You can use this to strip wax and sealants, not ceramic coatings, but you can. Proper dilution, of course, again. Now you say, Brad, what am I gonna do with this? What bottle do I put in? Ah, don't worry. We included an IK sprayer for you. You know, a few months back we did the, the press-all sprayer, so now this is a good comparison. You can see the different bottles that are on the market and see what works best for you guys. So, we include the IK sprayer for you. You can use this. Also, great, I think everybody's going to QR codes nowadays because it just makes things simple. There is a QR code on here from IK sprayer just to give you a little background and see how to use the bottles, dilution ratios that can go products, chemicals that can go in certain bottles, stuff like that. I shouldn't say dilution ratios. But also, I like this little red sticker here, product ID. You can write on there. And then they have like a nice little holder for it. I really geek out about stuff like that. It's that organization part of things. So, use these two together perfectly. Now, if you're doing what I'm doing, and doing 10 to one in here, and you're gonna start cleaning the wheels, how are you gonna scrub it? Uh, Adam's polishes, we include a scrub brush for you, this rubberized scrub brush. Boom, very effective. I don't typically use this a little bit harder bristle, bristle on the, the face of the wheels, the rims. I usually stick to the rubber with this, engine bay plastics and wheel wells. So, another good brush for you. Of course, in your box, you always get the glove box sticker. Insert card, step-by-step -step guide. So if you don't want to see my face or hear what I have to say, you can go and read this and get an idea how to use some of these products and then try them yourself and form your own opinions. Also, we put the discount codes on there if you want to go buy more products directly from any of these manufacturers. Some don't do discount codes, but some do, and you can take advantage of that. Thanks for being part of Team Club Box. Next, from our friends over at V Bosch, we have their premium glass cleaner. How are you gonna clean the glass? Well, we included our glove box waffle weave towel. My go-to lately really has been the waffle weave towel. We've included some other uh, glass towels in the past. The waffle weave to me really helps because it has like these little pockets that can pull in the dirt or debris or help um, cleaning your window and make that process a lot easier. So lately I've been using a lot of waffle weave towels so I wanted to give it to you so you guys can take a try. Now, let me give you a few little tips. You've heard me say this before on how to clean glass. I use this square method. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my towel, always checking it, make sure this is on. One spray, when I'm working a window like this. 
I am going to go in a square pattern, all the edges. My fingers right here are pushing right on the edge to pull any of that debris away. Square. Now I'm working my way into the middle, still doing little squares, rectangles. Then I get to the middle, looking at my top. If it's not too bad, I'll work my way back out. So the opposite of what I was just doing. And there. And I'll flip it to a side that doesn't have product on there. I'll just do one more to make sure that there's no streaks. And you've heard me say why I do this before, but just for you new subscribers and new viewers, because I feel like when I do this square, I am centralizing any of dirt, debris, or anything like that, which is a lot of the problem you'll get from streaking is because you just keep moving that dirt and stuff back and forth and gets caught in this edge. So I'm gonna centralize it, lift it, flip my towel, and then centralize it again. So again, V-Bosch Premium Glass Cleaner, Glove Box Waffle Weave Towel, streak-free glass. Now, let's go and fire this thing up. That concludes this episode of Detail Matters. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit that alert icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And of course, happy holidays and happy detailing.